Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. If you've got a co-worker who's starting to smell like five-day-old hot garbage, well, he's probably got killer internet speed at home. A new survey asked people to name the most essential items from day-to-day life. They didn't include stuff like food or shelter or clothing, but made everything else fair game. And coming in first was the internet, beating out showers, which came in second. Here are the top five answers. Number one, the internet. Number two, showers and baths. Number three, television. Number four, laptops and iPads. And number five, a car. Could this be the start of a barista revolt? Starbucks just released a new dress code for employees. And there is one certain forbidden accessory that is really upsetting some baristas. The company now has a rule against their employees wearing engagement rings that contain precious gems to work. Wedding bands are fine, but engagement rings with stones are big no-nos. According to the reasoning in the guidelines, that kind of jewelry is a food safety safety concern. Starbucks isn't picking on brides-to-be, however. The company also bans bracelets, watches, and wristbands from being worn. The company urges, less is more. Miley Cyrus, the daughter of Billy Ray Cyrus, has been spending time with Patrick Schwarzenegger, the son of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm not exactly sure which family is the one that's slumming. The new edition of the World Whiskey Bible shockingly named a Japanese whiskey as the world's best. An American product was second, while no famous Scottish whiskey even cracked the top five. Scottish whiskey has gone downhill so badly that the news of their poor ranking has left Scots crying in their beer rather than their whiskey. A new report says that last year, over $2 billion in U.S. lottery winnings went unclaimed. Well, you intend to pick up that $50 million check, but, you know, one thing leads to another and you just can't seem to find the time. U.S. Navy SEALs are being told to stop spilling secrets. For example... The Pentagon isn't too crazy about news of a group of former SEALs creating a new roundtable daytime TV talk show. The new lineup for January's Celebrity Apprentice has been announced, and it includes Geraldo Rivera and Gilbert Gottfried. Either would make an ideal apprentice. They're just as irritating as Donald Trump. Bad news from the world of health. New evidence indicates that red wine, which we thought was so helpful, may block the good effects of exercise. So, I've said goodbye to all exercise. You too will do a week-long residency on The Tonight Show. So, guess what'll be showing up in your iTunes account the following Monday? Gwyneth Paltrow's website is $1.86 million in debt. To put that figure in perspective, take the average IQ of anyone who's ever bought anything on Gwyneth Paltrow's website and add $1.86 million. An organization representing people suffering from shy bladder disorder wants DirecTV to pull those TV ads where painfully awkward Rob Lowe has trouble urinating with other people in the men's room. I don't have any trouble with my bladder, and I would love to see that commercial disappear. Kris Jenner says that she's embarrassed by the mounting evidence that Bruce Jenner is becoming a transsexual. I'm sure that comment is sitting well with the LGBT community. Becoming a transsexual? I hate to break it to you, sweetie, but that ship has already sailed. Thanks, everyone. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report every weekday. Make sure to check out Being Frank with Frank D'Angelo on NSS, live Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern.